hey what's up everybody welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to cover how to boost your fps fix fps drops stutters and lag in gta 5 without downloading any third party program on your pc make sure to guys watch my this whole video if you're first time here please subscribe drop a like on this video with the wasting on time let's dive straight into it so guys in the very first step it's most important to stop all of your background running processes and the apps on your pc which is useless so for that press windows r together from your keyboard you will find this run window type here gp edit.msc and press enter go for computer configurations administrative template Windows component and app privacy folder. After that, scroll down and find out Let's Window app run in the background. Double tap here, and uh, you will find this window. Set it onto the enable and set the default for all app onto the force deny. After that, hit apply and click OK. So now, in the next step, you have to disable the storage sense and also delete all of the junk and prefetch data from your windows. So, for that, you need to go for your window search and type here storage and go for storage settings so guys here you need to turn off the storage sense from your pc after that close out your window settings press windows R together from your keyboard and now type here prefetch and press enter and delete all of the file available into this folder i have already delete these files from my pc so guys now in the next step you need to create a powerful power plan on your pc for gaming especially for the gda5 so for that open up the command prompt so press windows r together from your keyboard again and type here cmd and press enter now paste here this command and you will find out this command from the description of this video so go there and paste here this command and this ultimate performance power plan is now created on your pc so close out the cmd window and go for your window search and search for power and sleep settings Go for additional power settings and set it on to the ultimate performance power plan or guys you can also use the bitsome high performance power plan on your pc but for that you need a third party program which is the power control but i suggest you to go with the ultimate performance power plan and this should be one of the best power plan for gaming now in the next step we are going to disable the full screen optimization for the gda5 so go for your file explorer go for the drive where you install your gda5 go for the folder go for gda5 folder and go for the gda5 directory after that scroll down and go for the launcher file of your gda5 so here we have the gda5 exe file and you can check it out here the size is bigger than the other exe file of the gda so right click here go for the properties go for the compatibility now go for disable full screen optimization go for change high dpi and check mark onto the override high dpi scaling behavior then hit ok hit apply and click ok and close out your gd5 directory now guys in the next step we are going to adjust our gpu settings for the high preference of the gda5 so right click on your desktop go for display settings now scroll down and go for graphic settings make sure to turn on the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling because it will help you to reduce latency and improving your system performance and also you need to restart your pc after changing the settings so simply turn on the settings after that go for graphics performance preference go for the browse option go for the drive where you install your gda5 Go for gda5 directory and add here this exe file and go for option and set it on to the high performance then hit save and close out this window so guys now in the next step i'm gonna show you the best nvidia control panel setting for gda5 so right click here go for nvidia control panel click i agree and continue now in the very first step go for 3d settings and go for adjust image settings with preview and set it on to the use advanced 3d image settings now click on the take me there and go for manage 3d settings so guys in the very first step here we find the image scaling so turn it off go for ambition occlusion set it onto the performance and it's tropic filtering set it onto the application controlled anti anything fx double a set it onto the off anti anything gamma correction turn it on now scroll down go for dsr factor set it off go for low latency mode set it onto the ultra it's not play a major role in gda5 but you can choose the ultra from here now go for max frame rate set it onto the off go for monitor technology and set it onto the g sings or v sings whatever you have on your monitor spotted now scroll down go for open gl rendering gpu set it onto the nvidia geforce or whatever gpu you have go for power management and set it onto the platform maximum performance prefer refresh rate set it onto the highest available and scroll down go for texture filtering quality set it on to the high performance then go for thread optimization and set it on 
After that, here you will find out virtual reality pre rendered frame set it or the one and click on the supply button and save the settings on your Nvidia control panel. Now, simply close out it and now you need to one time restart your PC. Therefore, all the changes take effect. After that, launch your PC back and launch the GTA 5 and enjoy the best performance out of your PC in GTA. I hope so. You love the video. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notification. Therefore, you never miss any future update from this channel. So, till at the next video, peace out.